In this video, we're going to go over the importance of component collections and how they work in Copilot Studio. So the first thing you might be asking yourself is, what are these things that you're talking about? What are component collections? Well, let's dive into that a little bit. So a component collection is basically the idea of your ability to create something and then use it over and over again in different agents that you've created inside of Copilot Studio. And this can be a topic, it can be an action, it could be an entity, it could be knowledge. And the reason you might want to do this is it gives you the ability to take those things and make them standardized and make them available over and over again and package them up. And you can also take multiples of these together. So I could take uh, a combination of topics and entities and actions to make a logical component that I can share with other people so that that way I can package it up and say, here, use this package and it makes it where your agent can do this particular capability. And then I can do that, and once I've packaged it up, because it is a solution in a sense, it's going to make it where it can also be managed or unmanaged. And what this means is I can make it where when you use it or when I give this to you, that you can modify it or that you can't modify it. And this is super powerful because this allows a department to go build something, make it distributable to their organization in a version of it, and then it can't be edited by the person even if they are the author of an agent. They can just use these logical components. And since they are solution aware, yes, you can version it and treat it just like any other solution, but it allows you to be able to take the dependency in your solution for another solution. And again, because I can package this up as a solution, I get export and import capabilities, and it means that I can develop them as if they're their own logical piece of component. Um, and this is really, really a major step forward in Copilot Studio. So let's now kind of take a look at what this all means. Now imagine if you must that I've got an agent that, I've, that I'm building. And inside of this agent, I have a bunch of different topics and a bunch of different entities and things like this. And then let's say that I looked at across all of these different things that are inside of this agent. And I decide that I want to take that ability to order pizza and package it up into a reusable component so that that way it can be used by other agents or that I can make it available to be used by other agents without having to rewrite it over and over again. So to do this, the first thing I need to do is look at what are all the pieces of this agent that I have that need to be packaged up into this new component collection uh, to allow me to do this. Well, the two things that I would need is the order pizza topic, but I would also need the pizza toppings entities so that way I have all of this together. So what I'll do is I'll take the two of those and I'll put them into a collection together. And by doing that, now I have a component collection that I can use and redistribute my pizza ordering topic and the entities associated to it. So now you have something that looks a lot like this, where we have moved the order pizza topic and pizza topping entities into their own solution that is a component collection. And we have associated that to the agent that we were in before. Now, if we wanted to do this where we wanted to add additional uh, things to point to it. Let's say that this other agent, let's go and create a couple of topics in it. And then we wanted to add the order pizza capability to it. Then we would simply just point to it and make it available inside of this agent. And then we have a dependency, a shared dependency between two different agents using the same implementation for order a pizza. Now in this configuration, if I were to make modifications to the order pizza topic or to the pizza topping entities, 
that change would not just affect the original location, but it would affect all locations that are using the same collection component. Now, let's say that we changed this though, and we had it where we had published this out as a managed solution into an environment, and then it was locked down. In this case, what happens is neither of these would be able to actually be able to edit it, and they wouldn't be able to make any changes to it. Hence the reason it would be listed as managed. So now you may be asking yourself, why would anybody really want to do this? And I wanna give you a couple of different scenarios why you might wanna do this. Assume you have department one and department two, and each of those departments wanna be able to build in their own environment reusable assets that can be used by other departments, but they can't change it. Or if I'm a COE and I want to establish a set of common entities across my entire organization and make them available, and I don't want to have to worry about modifying those. And then you can also think about partners uh, such as ISVs or uh, solution integrators. Those different uh, vendors may want to build their own implementations and distribute them in a way where they can be not modified and only provide version updates in scenarios whenever they feel uh, that the person has licensed the version updates. All of these are great examples of why someone might want to use this. And it is one of the key things that I know many of you have been asking for for a long time but this also gives you topic level import and export capabilities. So it allows you to be able to go take something, package it up, and then use it over and over again in all of your different uh, implementations. This is the, one of my favorite new features that I've seen inside of Copilot Studio in a very long time, and I hope you guys really love it. I will be doing a detailed video on how to use this feature coming up, and if you wanna see videos like that, or additional videos like you've seen today, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, you can go try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.